And we've got two directions to go here. Were there any signs? <laughs> oh, yeah, right here. Black Rock Federal Penitentiary. That way. Oh, no. The road's blocked. Are you kidding me? I gotta get to Black Rock. I gotta visit Pa. Nom, 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 nom. Good morning, Survivors. Polly Jr. here. and Welcome back to the Long Dark Stalker Survival Mode. We're picking up where we left off here. After the end of the last episode, we are at the... Uh, oh, boy. We're in the blackness over here. <laughs> in the fog of war. Uh, at a house. Pleasant Valley Farmhouse. Molly's house, in fact. We had spent the night here. Uh, I guess I slept in the kids' room. I couldn't find the bedroom, <laughs> the big bed. So I slept in the little bed. It was very cozy. Anyway, so, um, yeah, let's get downstairs. Did I get all the water? Uh, water. I mean, the uh, fine Canadian lemonade. It looks like I did. So, yeah, let's get downstairs. We've got a full day ahead of us, and I have an idea to take a trek today to, um, down south. Uh, actually, I think it's, I think it's west. Uh, I don't really know because again you can't see the darn map um, but we're gonna go we're gonna follow the road so if someone had mentioned in the comments that the road that we had um, intersected with at some point took a right around Albuquerque um, actually leads to Black Rock the old prison region so I thought that would be fun to go and visit just like the old days <laughs> maybe visit some of our old friends they're still incarcerated there, as far as I know. Uh, so check it out. we got our fresh guts and our beer hide here, carrying very nicely. Let's move this stuff over here and get it out of the way, because I keep stepping on it, and it makes an awful squishy sound. Yeah, I figured we'd take a little walk today, um, because we're going to have to come back here and pick up this stuff when it's all cured. So we can go kill some time and head back. Uh, back to the uh, Mystery Lake region eventually. Oh, there's a can here. Good, because we're going to need that. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to first pare down the pack, because we are super heavy. We have a lot of stuff, and I'm going to just leave a bunch of stuff here. Like I said, we'll return this way, um, and we'll pick up the stuff that we really need, and we'll leave behind the stuff we do not need. So let's go ahead and do that. I did some work off camera last night, mainly just... Um, uh, cleaning up my firearms so they are now above 80% each I believe so that's a very nice and we're gonna drop some things here on the floor uh, let's refuel this we have a big jerry can of fuel half half full or half empty depending on how you look at that and we'll drop this right here put it by the door um, by the way, some of you had mentioned in the comments, and keep the comments, the likes, the feedback, the tips and tricks coming. They're very helpful and very much appreciated. Uh, back at the barn, where I pointed out the loft, uh, there is apparently a way to get up there. Just climbing up on one of the boards, like a fallen plank. I'm surprised I didn't see it, but we'll go back there and check it out, because apparently there's sometimes a bud day up there, or maybe all the time, and that bud day may have some uh, some decent gear like people have found a rabbit skin hat up there so that would be tremendous so we're gonna go and see if that is there but we do have to drop some things we just don't need to carry all of this on this short trip oh look at all the coffee it's glorious <laughs> wow we have a lot of water 15 pounds of water we definitely don't need all of that now we're going to use some for cooking, but let's go ahead and drop, uh, let's transfer some of that. We're going to go, we're going to make some coffee this morning. Um, what time is it? Yeah, we still have the whole day ahead of us. We're going to get a fire going. I'm going to brew up probably three coffees, and uh, we're going to bring those with us because we're already super tired. I, I got a pretty good, I think, eight hours of sleep last night, but we're still tired. Um, let's go out and do a survey really quick. Just to get the house on the map. That would be super duper nice to see where he is. Can we do it right here on the porch? Oh, <laughs> maybe not. Oh, great. It's too foggy to do it, figures. Ay -ay -ay. It's always something, isn't it? All right, no, drop it. Punch. We don't need a flare. We're good. 
All right. Um, let's just get the fire started now. Because I don't know how far that black rock is from where we're heading. So it might be a good idea to get moving soon. Oh, by the way, I have a torch. And this was one of the tips in the comments is to light the torch with the cruddy matches. And then we can use the torch to light the fire in the stove. And save our matches because we get, we'll get multiple chances if we don't get it the first time. So that is very nice. Now where's oh dang it? Where's the book? Pick up a book. Nope, 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 nope. I would drink almost anything about now. Yeah, hold on, bro. We're gonna get a fire going. Book seventy-five percent. Where's that torch? Hurry it up. Uh, eighty percent. Go. Looking good. Almost there. Come on, baby. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right. Extinguish. And now let's throw some uh, throw some stuff on here. What do we got here? We don't need much. Uh, we should probably just throw some reclaimed. Yeah, we don't need a long fire. Again, we're just going to be making some uh, some uh, coffee. We'll probably drop some of that coal here too. We don't need to carry all this coal. Again, we're going to be coming back this way, so let's drop, uh, let's just drop all the coal. I don't think we're going to need the coal. Where we're headed. All right, let's get the uh, coffee going. I'm going to cook up lots and lots of coffee. One coffee there. Another coffee there. And lastly, coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh, and while that's brewing... We can drop some more things here. Man, everything is so darn heavy, isn't it? All right, let's not forget those bandages. They're tough to see. Uh, okay, 45 minutes until burn. Oh, take it. Take it. Take it. Oh, dang it. That one was not ready. That one wasn't ready. I screwed that one up. I took the coffee out without it being ready. And now we're going to... Um, well, I think it's going to stay hot for a few seconds, right? We will take one can. Um, yeah, let's drink one coffee right now. Nice and hot. We do need to hydrate. And now we'll just drink some... Uh, oh, we got a soda here. Okay, let's pop that soda back. And we'll grab this coffee. Seven minutes until ready. Pass time and grab it. So now we have two coffees in here for the road. Because we, uh, we, we are already... A little bit tired. All right. Um, I might bring one firewood. How are we doing on weight? We're doing just fine on weight. And then maybe a torch. Snuff it. Snuff it. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Oh, we should probably grab a book. A book for the road because it helps starting the fires. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go. Let's get the gun up. The other one. There we go. <laughs> and we'll slip out the back and head toward the uh, the barn. Check on that bad day. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. One more thing I wanted to drop. And I guess we can drop it right here. Um, would be the branches. Although maybe we should put them indoors. I don't know if they cure outside. Let's put them inside. Yes. So we do have a maple branch. And that is used for the bow. That was a comment. Or did I drop those already? Oh, maybe I did that overnight. I don't see my, my twigs. Did I drop my twiggies? What did I do with my twigs? Oh, wait. I put them in the cabinet, didn't I? Yes, that was the comment. It was take them out of the cabinet and put them on the ground. And we're going to do that. So they'll dry out on the ground. And that's exactly what we want. All right. Let's put it over here by the fire and the guts and all the stuff. The guts and such. Drop all those and drop that one. Okay. Now. Nope. Other gun. Now we're ready. <laughs> Out the back we go. Okay. Open the door. And can we do a quick survey? I think it looks like it's clearing up. Yes, we can survey. Awesome. Get Molly's house on here. The farmhouse. And there's Signal Hill. And the cave that we found a memento to. And we need to get back on this road and go west. And then over here at the end of the road is the um, is the path to Black Rock. 
So looking forward to checking out Black Rock. It's a little bit chilly today. It's late morning. Uh, oh, we just lost our warming up thing. That's kind of a shame. Um, is the coffee still hot, I wonder? Oh, it is. Okay, let's drink another one. <laughs> Might as well. We need the eyeball and we need the uh, warming up. And the other one's going to get cold on us, but we can just drink that later. Now, the one thing we don't have, sadly, is a bedroll. Because I, I didn't bring a bedroll out on this trip. Oh my gosh, what? Oh, he, how did he see us so quickly? I wasn't paying attention. I tried to get up over the, out of the road and onto the ridge. I don't really want to shoot him. But I will. Stop. Stop. I said I would shoot you. I was going to bleed out. All right, he would have been a nuisance the whole way anyway, probably. Dang it. I hate using the bulletses. We need more bulletses. I'm thinking we're going to find plenty of bulletses when we get to Black Rock. Look at him go. He's going to drop dead sooner or later. They do bleed out, sadly. All right, back in the barn. So, is that the plank? Oh, yeah, look at that plank system up there. Almost as if it was designed that way. <laughs> I did not see this little ramp up. It looked like I would have had to jump up, but okay, great. Oh, ow. Got to duck down. It's a bit of a uh, parkour here. But don't worry, my friends. I'm a professional parkourist. Eh, or something. Ooh, we get a nice view of the barn, too. I don't think we missed anything in the barn. Because if I had, I think I, you guys would have told me about it. Other than this loft up here. So, yeah, this is a little tricky. Oh, boy. Is that blood? Uh, it looks like a body. All right. Eyes, eyes, eyes down. Don't fall here. I don't want to break anything. Oh, it's a, it's a person. Hello? Eh, no signs of life. Nope. This, it's, he's a goner. Um, nothing there. Oh! Oh, it's a, it's a scarf. That's not good. <laughs> I was hoping for the bunny rabbit hat. That would have been amazing. Maybe in the backpack. This stuff will come oh, in handy. yes. Okay. Yeah, the matches are great. All right, not what I was hoping for, but it'll have to do. Um, all right, now I'm going to... Can I just climb down the ladder? I don't trust the ladder. I don't trust the falling in this game. Even that small little fall right there. Probably break a leg. Right so slow okay all right uh this thing 55 we can i guess we can carry that we might need cloth to make a shelter which is sticks and cloth in case we get stuck out in the nasty weather hopefully we don't but we can always do that in a pinch all right out we go okay out we go now should we survey here let's try it we got plenty of charcoal let's get this thing on the map Surveying only takes a couple of minutes, right? There we go. The barn. Excellent. Okay. Very cool. Uh, let's get on that road and let's boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. It's relatively warm out today. Only one down arrow, so hopefully it doesn't get any colder. <laughs> it is a nice blue sky today. A little bit of sunshine. All the wolves are out. And the bear left, but we are going to bear to the right and go west this is west so on we go we're gonna walk and try not to use up too much energy and keep our eyes peeled to the left and to the right and behind and i think this is a relatively short walk and i don't know how far it's going to be once we pass through or if there's like a transition region i don't know i don't know <laughs> Although, we were at Black Rock pretty recently, so hopefully I have some familiarity once we get there. Oh boy, two down arrows. It's getting windy! I don't like that. I was hoping for a nice, calm, warm day. Uh, walking into the wind. Dag nabbit! This isn't what I was hoping for! So, this will probably be the last video of 2022. I'm recording this on Friday. And I'm going to try to get it up over the weekend at some point before the end of the year. 2022 is about to end. And 2023 is right around the corner. And I'm 
very much looking forward to 2023. We're going to start... Um, well, I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit in, in making videos and playing different games. I'm going to pick maybe two primary games, which will take up the bulk of the work. Uh, is that a... what is that? Wolf. Uh, take up the bulk of the content on my channel, and then I'm going to sprinkle in some new stuff occasionally. Maybe do, like, indie games again. But I want to focus on, you know, two main... Uh, series like a long dark and then we're gonna probably pick one other one and probably get back to some minecrafting as well I don't know I've just been kind of lazy <laughs> uh, with my channel the last six months or so and I'd like to get a little more consistency and maybe get a schedule together I've been talking about schedules for years but I'm not much of a scheduler but if I can get four or five videos out a week that would be that would make me happy back like it was the old days i've just been um not super motivated long curve new location all right and we got a car here let's check it out oh 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 there's a bullet here nice all right we do have our pry bar with us so we can open up these locked trunks and get skunked I'm gonna hop in the back seat and just feel around here. Nothing. And we'll check the front. Uh, nothing here. Glove box. That'll come in handy. Ward fleece mittens will bring it for the, um, for the cloth. And there we go. There's our visor scrawled message. I love these. Continues from missing page to return mom's things. No blame. I did what I could. A sturdy rock above the field. Okay, that's going to put a spot on our map. Oh, it's over by the farmhouse. Uh, wolf carcass, a deer carcass. Okay, well, maybe we'll get over there at some point. Something dead over here. On the water? Is this water right here? Oh, yeah, it is. It's like a little, little pond. Uh, how do we get over to the pond? That's the question. There might be more here on the left and the right, maybe a cave or something, but we're not going to bother. I just want to get down the road into Black Rock before nightfall. I'd like to find some kind of a shelter. I guess I can go around. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe there's a cave here. I thought that was cracked ice. Oh, not a cave, but a dude. And a crow feather and a torch. Let's check the body. What have we here? Oh, yeah, got a flare. Thank you, buddy. I'll take that. Appreciate the help. Don't need it where you're going. Weather is still a little chilly. Then it warms up, and then it gets cold again. Doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> I'd prefer if you were warmer. All right, here we go. The old street light all bent over. Um, how far do we have to go? Leave Pleasant Valley. Oh, I want to go check that car, though. Oh, Dagnabbit. Oh, wow. That was quick. New location discovered. Keepers pass south. I don't think it saved. Oh, that's not cool. I like intermittent saves. So we're about to Should start over again. Ah, oh, it's perfect. And some cloth and some cloth. All right, it's not bad. How are we doing? Oh, wait, we're still good. We're still good. We still good. Get in the car. Purple car by Harvard Yard. Welcome to Boston. I didn't check the hood on the other one, but we'll raise the hood on this one. And yeah, the batteries apparently can't be used to make ammunition. It's a um, complicated process, and I don't know if we're ever going to get to it, but I will pop the hood so we know we've been here. Um, so should I do a survey here? It seems kind of chilly for a survey. Can I do a survey while sitting in a car? Oh, we're warming up in the car. Ooh. It's just that wind that's so bad. Oh, we can survey inside a car. That's amazing. And it warmed up a bit. Okay, we're sitting in the car. Here's the pass. <laughs> Keepers pass south. Should we have our other coffee? Might as well. We are thirsty. Well, let's eat something first. We've got all kinds of stuff to choose from here. 45. Let's, let's have some catch-up chips. It's going to make us a little thirsty, sadly. And how about some cattail stalks? Oh, 
not too salty. Beautiful. And we're going to drink that coffee, give us a little eyeball back. Some hydration, but we don't get the warm-up benefit because it's cold coffee. But I like iced coffee. I do. Not in the middle of the winter. That's crazy. My daughter does it for some reason. <laughs> she likes iced coffee in the winter. I think it's madness. But what do I know? I'm just a dumb old man, right? All right, out we go. Okay, that was a nice little warm-up there. like it. And we're moving pretty quickly. What is that? Wolf stump. Wolf rock. Should we go down by the river? Down by the river? Yeah, I want to just keep moving. I don't think we want to stay here or get stuck here. I think we need to... We need to find a shelter. Maybe there's a cave or something. At the very least, to spend the evening if we get stuck out here. Like I said earlier, we could make a shelter. There's a snow shelter, which is sticks and cloth. It, I mean, it's not like a five-star hotel or anything, <laughs> but it should uh, keep us alive. Uh, oh, there's a band-aid. And I do have some experience making survival shelters. I took a survival course with my son, uh, Jumbo Muffin, back when he was, I think he was a senior in high school, maybe a junior, up in Maine in November. It was cold, and it was to simulate getting lost in the woods sort of thing, and you had to survive, and uh, we had to make a shelter, like the, the second day we were there, maybe, maybe it was the first day, I forget, but we had some training, and then about 3 o'clock, they're like, okay, now go off into the woods and make a shelter, <laughs> right before dusk, which was part of the challenge. We are simulating a an emergency situation. <laughs> And I made, like, this little debris hut. It was actually pretty cool. This is nice. What is this? What is this, then? I don't know, but we're going to go in. There's a little generator here. All right, we got a fire barrel right here. I guess just leave the wood there. Um, let's go in. Oh, yes, we can go in. This will save it. Nice. Yes, saved. Trailer. Keepers pass south. All right, let's, uh, let's check it out. This will come uh, in. Ooh, new trail boots, but we have combat boots. So I, no. A wool a wool short short a wool shirt is pretty good. We're gonna compare that to what we have on. So it's good. Get some hydration going. And scrap metal. I'll bring it. We can carry it right now. Oh, let's look at about a ten pound uh, leeway. Fantastic. Oh, microwave. Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah. Sometimes you find uh, coffees and they're already made up. <laughs> we could use another coffee. We can always use another coffee. Um, do we need the leather? I don't think so. Oh, good. Pork and beans. I thought maybe that was dog food. But no sorry, Bob. It's edible. Oh, there's a bed here. A bunk bed. I'll take the bottom. I think I can use this. Yes, 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 yes. The more matches, the better stump remover. We are going to need that again. I think that's also for making um, bullets, which is a long, complicated process. And you have to go to, like, the forlorn musk egg, I think, to do it. Oh, here's a workbench right here. Nice. Uh, this is a pretty cool spot. I like it. I like it. What's that? Nothing. Old cup. Uh, get up. Whacking my head on something here. Uh, yeah. Spray paint. Nope. Don't need. Am I missing anything? Don't think so. Uh, let me just sniff around out here in the corners. Nooks and the crannies, as they say. Um, we don't need to sleep right now, but this is good to know that it's here. Alright. I'm not gonna drop anything, I don't think. Not right here. Although, we will drink a soda. Before we head out. Still have some more daylight. And I would like to find the Black Rock uh, transition. Wherever it is. So let's go check it out. I just don't know how far or which direction. We've got two directions to go here. Were there any signs? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right here. Black Rock Federal Penitentiary. That way. Excellent. All right. Let me know which way to go. Let's open the hood, because we're going to go check out this cat. Ooh, is that an MRE? It's an MRE, baby. Military grade. 
Beautiful. I could use this. And trust the old matches. We will take them. And how about something under the visor? No? No. Alright. It's okay. And how about the back seat? Oh, the temperatures have leveled off. Feels very nice uh, right now. And all those coffees did a pretty good job keeping us awake <laughs> on this trip can't so far. You can't have too much water. You can't have too much water. You are correct, sir. Oh, oh, and a nice sweater. Um, You know what we forgot to look at? Some of those clothes. You know what? We are going to go back in. All right, I'm going to drop the gun. I don't want to have an accidental discharge here. I'm opening things up. Yeah, all right. We're going to leave some things behind. We're going to come back this way anyway, right? At some point, we have to pass through here again. Unless there's another way out of Black Rock. There could be. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right. Nothing here in the pickup truck. Sometimes you find good stuff in the beds like guns. Dag nab it. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Big freezer with nothing in it. All right. Ah, uh, firewood bin. Heck yeah. Empty. <laughs> so exciting to see that, though. All right. And sticks for our stick shelter. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a bedroll. That would have been amazing. In an outhouse. All right, let's go back in. Ooh, what was that? Saw it up. thought I saw something red. And a cloth. Oh, we can break that down. That's a lot of cloth. How much cloth does it take to make the shelter thingy? Uh, that's a rock cache. That is not what I need. <laughs> right here. Snow shelter. 15 sticks and 5 cloth. Oh, wow. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. Easy peasy. Let's go back in. Real briefly like. And we're going to just drop a few things. We will come back this way. We've got plenty of cloth now. So we don't need all this extra clothing. Toss that in there, and the fleece mittens, and I wanted to check out that shirt. Uh, we got two new shirts here. This is a, th a new thick wool sweater, which is fantastic. Okay, the wool shirt I like. It's fashionable, but it's not quite as good. And then we have a worn thick sweater, so I think um, I'm going to stick with what we got. Stick with what we got. So let's throw the rest of that stuff in here. Maybe break it down later if there's time. And all the wood we're going to drop. We don't need this. So many matches now, too. These do tend to add up, don't they? <laughs> I mean, it's a half a pound of matches. We definitely don't need all those matches. All right. Good enough. Uh, let's go. Although it's starting to get, starting to get a little dark. Well, it's not dark, but it's getting late. So, we've got to get a move on. Penitentiary this way. That's where we're going. This is just like a little parking lot. Maybe a scenic overlook or something. All right. There's plenty to do here at this pass. I didn't even know this pass existed. Oh, man. All these trunks are locked. I mean, I guess that's really how they do work for most of them anyway. <laughs> Should be good to drink. More water, more cloth. Holy cow. We don't really need all the cloth, but we'll take it anyway. Another flare. Oh, boy. I may go back to the trailer and drop some of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in the glove box. Nothing under this visor. We've been pretty lucky with the visors so far, haven't we? All right. I'm going to slip in the passenger side this time. You know, mix it up a little bit. Is it food or? Sure. Food for squirrels. But we'll eat it. We'll eat anything. All right. And open the hood. The battery. What is this all about? That's a picnic area. Oh, it's lovely. You can hear the falls in the distance. Nothing going on in this town. Very boring town. Oh, it's beautiful. Except for the wolves. Get down. Oh, boy. Pack of wolves down there. Um, okay, well, we don't need to go to the river, fortunately. <laughs> oh, great. Right on cue. I hear wolvesies. It is a scenic view, I told you. Awesome. Ooh, 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 did I see a bedroll? No. Just some wood. All right, let's just go back in and drop a few more things. <laughs> and then we'll head down the road. 
once and for all. Did we survey this place? We did not. Let's do a quick survey. I think we should. Doesn't take very long. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, look at all the mushrooms. Wabbits. And then the roads. Awesome. All right. Just give me a second to get organized again. And hopefully there's still some time to go walk around. We need five of this, right? So let's get rid of six, according to my calculations. That leaves us five for our shelter in case we get stuck out there. Oh, why am I carrying that dusty, dusting thing? We don't need that. And the stump remover can stay here. I don't think we can make ammunition at Black Rock, so we're not going to bring any of the ammo creation stuff. All right, back underweight. Let's go. All right, gun up. Gun it up. And yeah, now the shadows are getting long. So yeah, getting back to the shelter that we made, this is about the time when they sent us off into the woods. Um, we did actually bring sleeping bags. They, they said you can bring a sleeping bag and a tent if you want or a tarp or whatever um, in case, you know, you don't want to build a shelter. You had an option. But if you wanted the full experience at this survival course, they said to, um, you know, go make your own shelter. So that's what we chose to do. And if things got really bad, we could go get our sleeping bag um, or our tent or whatever. So we didn't bring tents. We did bring zero degree sleeping bags. And the temperatures are probably like, I don't know, in the 30s at night. So it wasn't terribly cold, but uh, still cold enough when you're just in your clothing. Because that was part of the, the course. Uh, the training was just stay out here. Uh, you get lost. You're in your clothes and that's it. So we decided to build shelters the first night. Um, I did, like I said, I had a zero degree sleeping bag in the car in case things went bad. And also I had uh, military grade, uh, military issue actually, bivvies, Gore-Tex waterproof bivvies. They put the bag inside and then climb in and zip it all up and they're super duper warm. And we had those just in case, but uh, we didn't have to use them fortunately, we just made up um, some shelters with pine boughs and a bunch of debris, a bunch of leaves, and they were really warm. You'd be surprised how warm a shelter, a debris shelter can be with your body heat, right? So we were fine, except for our feet. That was the, the, the trick we learned was the feet get coldest <laughs> and to put on some nice dry socks. Because while we were building the shelter, you're running around. That'll come in handy. Yeah, sure. Um... You know cutting boughs and stuff and you're getting sweaty and your feet sweat in your insulated boots and if you don't have dry socks to put on your feet get cold and you know the the wet socks um, don't insulate as well so we had extra socks for the second night and it made a big difference anyway it was a fun course I recommend it do it in a controlled setting so that way if you know you can do it in a controlled setting and you figure everything out, you'll learn it, then uh, then you be confident that you can do it uh, in an actual emergency. All right, there's our river. There might be something down there, but I just want to get to the... just want to get to Black Rock. I don't want to waste too much time out here. It could very well be a bunch of cool stuff here. But I want to... Oh, what the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the road's blocked. Are you kidding me? Uh, I gotta get the Black Rock. I gotta visit Pa. Oh, this is not good. Oh my gosh, a little rock slide. Block the passage. Um, well, I guess we're going back then. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go back to the trailer. We don't have to make a debris shelter tonight, my friends. Which, again, would be fun. I hear chewing and growling or something coming from that direction so let's not go there let's go back up although I am curious might be something cool over here yeah or certain death could be a bear could be a wolf pack yeah let's not do that let's not do that let's just get back to the trailer 
probably spend the night there, I think. Um, well, we don't really have a choice, do we? Open that hood. What is here on the road? Is that... We just came this way. Did we pass a carcass? <laughs> All that talking. Nah, it's just a, just a stump. Just a stump. Not even a wolf stump. Oh, it's a rock. It's a big old rock. Yeah, what happened to the rocks around here? Oh, rock slides. Okay, I hear the, the, the wolves. The mournful wolves. So hungry. Looking for tasty man flesh but we don't we don't want to give them any it's mine it's my man flesh and I'm still using it fishing hut down there we could go check it out there might be some fishing line and hooks maybe some tools maybe ammo I don't know but I think we're done here for the night I'm gonna go back into the trailer and we'll sleep there tonight get a nice warm cozy bed so we don't have to make our shelter. And I'm going to get the pack ready for the morning. Oh, Milton. I love Milton. Got to go visit Milton. Uh, hopefully this leads to Black Rock. Maybe there's another way around. And we'll go down there in the next episode. N next year, 2023. We're going down that road, my friends. <laughs> awesome. All right. In we go. Okay. While it's daylight, I might do a little repair work maybe some cleaning well you can clean in the dark that's not uh that is possible but i might repair up some of these socks i don't want cold feet there's nothing worse than cold feet um we got plenty of cloth to do that and then in the morning we'll come back and head out down the road and hopefully that uh that road over there leads to black rock somehow maybe a different location because the sign lied all right, so with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day, and have a happy new year. Hope it's safe and healthy and fun, and we'll see you right back here in 2023. So, bye-bye.